From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. You're in for another hot day. Jason Adams will let you know when we may see a slight cool down. Hey there, I'm Vanessa Riza. Let's go ahead and get you caught up with your ABC Action News headlines first. Back on Earth, SpaceX's Dragon Resilience landed early this morning off the coast of Panama City. The Dragon capsule landed around 3 o'clock this morning for a rare nighttime splashdown. The last dark landing happened back in 1968 when the Apollo 8 crew returned. Shortly after touching down, the NASA control room officially welcomed them back with a little humor. We welcome you back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. For those of you enrolled in our frequent flyer program, you have earned 68 million miles on this voyage. Cute. The four crew members who landed this morning launched into orbit back in November. By the way, they're the second crew to be launched by SpaceX. A horse named Median Spirit won the Kentucky Derby yesterday. That makes Bob Baffert the winningest trainer in the race's 147-year history with seven victories. This year, the Derby had about 51,000 spectators. That's about 100,000 fewer than usual because of the pandemic. Fans were told to wear their masks inside the track. However, some of them did not. Some exciting news for American Idol fans. John Stamos is joining this season as a guest mentor. The actor and musician will mentor the top nine contestants starting tonight. You can watch at 8 o'clock on your ABC Action News station. This will be part of a special Disney-themed episode. Stamos just debuted his new Disney Plus original series, Big Shot. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams. And it's going to be a hot one today and for the next several days. Highs this afternoon, upper 80s, lower 90s. We average 84 this time of year, so about 5 degrees above our average for most locations. Lower 90s, though, for our inland spots, and it will feel a couple of degrees hotter than that when you factor in the humidity. However, we are expected to see those hottest conditions setting up for us from Monday through Wednesday, where many spots could get to 95 with a heat index at or above 100 degrees along and east of I-75. So be prepared for that with those low to mid 90s inland today, upper 80s and low 90s along I-75 and then mid to upper 80s for those of you that are at the coast. And those hot temperatures again setting up for us all the way through Wednesday. We have a cold front coming in Thursday that will nudge temperatures back down by the end of the upcoming weekend. Thanks, Jace. And remember, ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Just make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there. Enjoy your Sunday.